Hey, what's up guys, Bear here, and I got a very thoughtful question from, uh, from one of my students here, uh, Beepers Jeepers, uh, very interesting, but okay, anyway, he writes to me, he goes here, I want to read the exact question right, uh, right here, live, he goes, well, how do I get rid of stage fright, okay, uh, that, like, that was like his, like, that was like his big thing, uh, and he says, you know, all my, spo all my sponsors rule. He says, how do I get over stage fright? And the short answer is, uh, you know, not short at all, but then I said this. I say, dude, the best trick to get over stage fright is to simply keep talking in front of people, okay? You got to do everything. You got to, you know, you got to hustle. You got to talk to people. You got to fall down. You got to dust yourself off, and you got to get back up, okay? And, uh, you know, I, I continue to say, you know, Fall down, get laughed at, be scared, have people snicker at you, um, you know, stutter, do what, do whatever you got to do. My first video was horrible. I'm still kind of working on, on, on my videos. But that over time, that feeling of insecurity, right, will eventually turn around and then you'll no longer be scared. And it goes back to practicing, right, is that, uh, is that the best way of getting good at your layup in basketball is to keep on practicing your layups, right? The best way of drawing... Um, you know, in art class is to keep on drawing a lot, right? The best way of, um, of playing guitar is to just play a lot of guitar, okay? Don't worry about messing up. Your first chord you ever played was bad. Your first shot in basketball was really bad. Your first video was probably really bad. And, uh, you know, your first gig, you were probably scared. You were probably, uh, you know, stuttering. Your head was down. But that over time, you eventually learn these things and that you grow as a person and that your insecurity eventually washes away. I also equate this a lot to, you know, talking to a girl or a guy at a bar, right? You see someone from across the room. You want to walk up and talk to them. You feel, you know, um, a sense of... Um, I, I, I don't want to say insecurity, but that fear of rejection, right? And so, like, that in itself is the same fear that actually causes stage fright. So, the way that you overcome these things is, uh, is to just keep doing them a lot, okay? You'll eventually get better over time, and that the idea of stage fright go, uh, goes away as you start playing more and more shows. And that what actually caused you to, to for the stage fright to get started uh, is actually going to create that fire underneath you and make you a better person, right? Now that when I have to go speak in front of people rather than being scared, it actually uh, gives me more uh, momentum and drive uh, in order to kill it. You know what I'm saying? So that's, so that's, how, that's how I feel. And let me see. Uh, yeah, okay. So Feather here says, visualize everyone in underwear. Um, let's see. Uh, now you can get day and night. Okay, it's cool. It's cool. So yeah, so you know, there's a lot of little tricks. I think the best trick, though, in period, um, is to just keep on doing it, right? Like, like the best trick, right? The best tactic is to just never give up and just keep on doing it, because eventually people are going to stop laughing at you. You're going to stop getting scared in front of people. You're going to start talking louder. You're going to start standing straighter. You're going to start walking taller. And uh, you're no longer going to be scared. You're going to be looking forward to it. So that's it, guys. In the same way that I, I look forward to the show, I want you guys to be looking forward to playing one day. And rather than being scared, you should be happy. Because let's hope one day that I'm in those stands, helping you guys, and uh, see you all on tour. Peace.